Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. It's early. Oh, 6 a.m., something like that, 5, 6 a.m. I'm having my oatmeal with blueberries. Mmm, yum. My Superman Power Bowl breakfast. Power. Power of the Holy Spirit. Power within. That's in the teaching today. We're going to get right to it. Everybody turn to 2 Timothy. Get your Bibles out. First chapter, first 14 verses, and verse 15 is sad. But we're going to do the good first 14 verses first. That's my number, 471-850. So I pay close attention to verse 1, verse 5, verse 8, verse 7, verse 14, verse 17. Any combination of my numbers. First three are most important. 471. In any order. 714. 147. 2 Timothy of the New Testament. Paul's last letter, read the last chapter. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, or the Lord Jesus Christ, by the will of God. And we know that we find the will of God four times in the first chapter of Ephesians. You want to know the will of God? Read the first chapter of Ephesians. And the third will, the mystery is connected with it. What is the mystery? Christ in you. In fact, I'm going to jump all the way to 1-4, verse 14. 2 Timothy, first chapter, verse 14. <clears throat> that good thing which was committed to you, Timothy, you keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. There are four two-letter words I want you to remember. In of, be, and us. Grace be, faith in, of Christ, us, we, the believers, the saints' sons, the sun saints, and women, sisters, wives, females, are in the sonship stewardship calling. That's the title of a group, and the women are in the group in the sonship group, or in the saint son group. Okay, so much for that. Back to verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, Lord, by the will of God, according to the promise of life. Find life. Think tree of life, water of life, book of life. And then there's more lives after that. But you find those three in the last two chapters of, uh, of Revelation. <clears throat> The promise of life, which is in, oh, there's one of our two-letter words, in Christ Jesus, I add Lord and head, head of all, head of all things. Those are two different teachings. Head of all, heavenly, head of all things to his body, the church on earth. Two different, two different teachings. To Timothy, a beloved son, spiritual son of Paul, Paul groomed Timothy to become the head bishop of school number two, Ephesus, after Paul is beheaded. And apostles sent one teachers, and prophet teachers, and evangelist teachers, and elder shepherd teachers come out from Ephesus for the next 250 years of the early first Christ-anointed believer assembly church. And I'm not teaching the denomination Church of Christ or the Assembly of God, okay? I'm teaching back to the Assembly or the Church in homes that the Holy Spirit started through Paul and Barnabas. And Paul carried on, so did Barnabas. But Barnabas carried on with, uh, was it his nephew? I think it was his nephew, John Mark. <clears throat> there was a split in the way 
uh, between Paul and Barnabas over John Mark when you understand scripture. Verse 3. <coughs> oh, I got a tickle in my throat. I add love. Love, grace, mercy takes its place. Peace, joy. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, verse 14. All right? That good thing which was committed unto you, Timothy, you, Timothy, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. What's dwelling in you? Here's my question. I'm going to make it as easy as I can. I hikamo shunday daily privately in the shower. I speak in tongues. I got that experience, that spiritual experience at the age of 35. I'm turning 75 here in May, 45 years ago. It's real. It's self-edifying. You to do it in private. Speak in English when you speak to the assembly. Rather that you speak a thousand words in English or a Five words in understanding English than a thousand words in tongues. I had that backwards for a moment. Speak in English, edify the body. Speak in English. Build yourself up with your spiritual words, self, private, speaking in tongues, hikamo shundai, in public among other saints. Uh, quick story. I would go to the prayer room. This one elder saint would beat me there all the time in this apostolic church that I went to when I first came to Denver, Colorado. And I could hear him on the other side of the door speaking in tongues. The minute my hand hit the door and the door clicked and the door opened, he switched to English. And I would say amen for the beautiful prayers and words in English that he used. You know, and that's the proper way to do it. When someone else is in the prayer room with you, pray in English. Okay, so much for that little gold nugget. And it's the Holy Spirit in you. Oh, back to my question. Do you remember when and where you had your spiritual experience? Whether you spoke in tongues or not, you know that you know that you know that you had a spiritual experience with the spiritual God. The greatest revelation you can get is there's one spirit in all, 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 all. Where there's seven spirits of God in Revelation, all is out from the one that sat upon the throne, the one spirit. Okay, so much for that. Back to verse three where this all started. Love, grace, mercy, peace, and I add joy. From God El Father, or, and put L over the top of and, God, El Father, X out the next and, or it was the, put L over the. God, the El Father, X out and, Christ Jesus, our Lord, head of all, the Almighty, El El Yon. What I'm saying is, the Father and the Son are the one and the same when it comes to spirit word. They have the same identical name in short form, Yah, Y-A-H. And they are the one spirit. And they are the word. It's just a second or a different manifestation of the one. Extension of self. Extension of self, the one spirit. I read on. Verse 3. Oh, that was the second half of verse 2. Okay. I thank God. We had God earlier. The will of God. Whom I serve with a pure or clean conscience as my forefathers did. As without ceasing, I remember you in my prayers night and day. He spoke about, he's speaking about remembering Timothy and the saints. Okay. Greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears, that I may be filled with joy when I call to remembrance the genuine faith in. And then you get faith in again over in verse 13. Whoop. A rainbow, you loop over there and get your TW, all right? Faith in, I add the in, and faith in, in verse 13, in faith in. I read on, back in five, that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, uh, Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also, Timothy, in of 
B and us, four two-letter words. In of grace be, be in us. <laughs> Verse 6, therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and the Christian religious church today denies the spiritual experience, the power of God. How many of them have yielded all the way to Hikamo Shundai? And that's my word I have created for speaking in tongues, an unknown, unknown language. Yielding totally till the spirit takes over your vocal cords and your tongue and your mouth and you speak a language you do not know. Love and of sound mind, verse 7. Verse 8, <clears throat> therefore, be not ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. Do you have a witness or a testimony to the truth and a witness and a testimony of the Lord Christ Jesus? Give him his deity. Always call Jesus Lord. Nor of me, Paul, his prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings of the gospel, the mystery of the gospel. 619 of Ephesians, when you X out of the mystery, the gospel, the gospel, the mystery is connected. The mystery is Christ in you. One of our four words in, of, be, and us. In fact, that'll be the name of this te teaching. Four two letter words. Okay, verse nine. Who has saved us? Shuad us. That's why you need to know the Hebrew name Yahoshua. Shua has four English word meanings. Shua, Savior or Salvation, Redeemer, Deliverer, Reconciler. We're in the Ministry of Reconciliation right now, now, today. Who has saved us, shewed us, and called us with a holy calling, calling, calling. There is elect, called, chosen, placed, mature, saint sons, son saints, saint sons. Women are saint sons. Okay, in the Saint Son Stewardship Calling, that's the title of a group, and women are in the group, sisters are in the group. There are female prophetesses, prophet teachers. Okay, they're just not to usurp authority over their husband if they marry in the natural. Aha! Women, you're not to wear the pants in the family. The husband is the covering of the wife and the children and has the last say and represents the family, the wife and the children. But the woman is the head of the household and the children. Aha! Oh, wow. And she's to be of a quiet spirit. She can speak, but don't cause contention in the church. They don't have to remain totally silent. They can ask questions. They can speak. Just be of a quiet spirit. That's what the Greek says right there. All right. Called, called in verse 9, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose, will, and plan. God had a purpose, will, and plan thought out in his mind before he moved and before he spoke and before he created. All right, plan, will, purpose of grace, which, he ha which was given to us in Christ Jesus, Lord, before Time began, or before the foundation of the world. I got one minute to get out, and there's still much to read. Uh, the now, the saved, Shua, the life, the gospel, the mystery at the end of 10, teachers of the Gentiles, that I may know him, my song, Ephesians 3.10, that I may know him, and we believe him until that day. In Christ, in faith, in 13, and I end with, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. Do you remember when you had your spiritual experience? Love you. Bye.